Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of I Don't Look Like Karen. If you say I look like a Karen, I'll sue your ass. I'm your host, this cat has shoes on it. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a drum kit. An electronic drum kit. Not those kind, but those kind. Let's get started. All right, so I'll break it down real quick for you and then I'll show you guys how to do this. So there are three different ways you can make your own sounds for your own drum kit. The first way would be to record sounds and process them. The second way would be to layer different sounds and process them. And the third way is to just fucking steal them. I'm gonna go through and show you guys how to do all three of these today. My favorite personally is the last one. It actually seems to be a favorite of a lot of producers. Let's talk about why you should make your own drum kit. Well, first off, supposed to be money and then you can also be like hey you use my sample anytime someone uses one of your samples from your sample pack it's also good to just have lots of good sounds ready to go on call sometimes if you get other people's drum packs they might have half-assed it and if it's your own kit and you know if it's half-assed or not you won't have to guess just an FYI the camera quality is gonna be not as good here because I'm recording this part on my computer webcam All right, now the first way to make sounds would be for us to record them with a microphone. This is a great way to do it because they're completely your own. It'd be really hard for someone to copyright it or to, to sue you or something if you make your own sounds. Well, anyways, we're gonna record this sound real quick. This is very makeshift right here, but we're just trying to make an interesting sound. Um, maybe this could be like a percussion or a snare or something. Hmm, actually sounds like shit. One thing you may learn about doing this is going to be a lot of experimenting here. We're just going to record a bunch of sounds here. Oh my god. Sound like it broke. That's a good sound though, but hopefully it didn't break. One thing about recording noises too is uh, the way you hit it will change the way it sounds. So there's a lot of different tones and timbres you can get. And that's another great thing about doing this. And you can also process it in your DAW later and layer them with other sounds. So the capabilities are pretty endless. You may want to do some investigating. Hold on one second. All right, I found a dirty fork. Um, we're going to hit this on something to make noise. I guess we got like a tonal thing here with this uh, coffee cup. Now this might suck too. Let's find out. Some coffee in it. Probably make some sort of trap song with that. Like the bells. Yeah, I kind of hear it there. We're going to hit a book on a phone. Can you tell I'm getting desperate here? Well, we should hopefully have a lot of sounds there. Hopefully one of them turns into something not that bad. I put the samples I just recorded in that video into a simpler and Ableton Live. I got rid of all the parts of me talking and it, so I just isolated just the transients. Now we're gonna see what we got here. So we got so we're working with. I put old reliable on it to beef up the sounds. You know old reliable, right? Here's a quick drum beat I made using mostly those samples I recorded. Except for the kick and the hi-hat. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to layer snares and make your own snare. It's pretty easy. I'm just gonna show you this project I recently had. Uh, it's from my Discord Cypher. It's my remix of my song, Ride. There's two snares here. I'm gonna show you how I turn it into one different snare. So here's the first snare. I'm just gonna loop it. First snare. Second snare. Then I put a clipper on it. Now let's hear them both combined. Without the clipper, with the clipper, adds a little bit to it. As you can hear, it's a little bit different and a little more punchy than the original snares. Essentially just trying to take that the texture from that second snare and the snap of the first snare. I'm sure we could layer the transients a little bit better, but honestly we want the snare to kind of hurt a little bit, so I think that should be fine. And there we go, we have a layered snare. This is just one of a million ways to do it. It's all essentially the same though, same idea. You can layer more than this if you wanted to. It can get as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the third way to make a drum kit. We're just gonna go to art slash drum kits. So follow me. All right, and we're just gonna uh, steal these, especially the ones that are supposed to cost money. Yeah, we're gonna take those and we're just gonna name them something else. 
This is a joke, by the way. All right, cool. Now we got our own sounds. Completely our own sounds. No one else's. So it's the next day. Um, I was tossing and turning. You want to know why? Because I realized I did not tell you guys you can also synthesize drums. Yes, you can also synthesize drums and synthesizers such as Serum. So follow me into the DAW because we're going to do that real quick. All right, so to make a kick real quick, we're just going to turn off the oscillator, turn on the sub, make the envelope real short like that, maybe even shorter. And now we got a nice little kick. Add a little noise to it too if we want to ruin it. Yeah, there's one reason I didn't really bring up synthesizing drums, and that's because uh, they don't really make very good drums, but I felt like I had to bring it up. So we got our shitty kicks here. It's really, it's really good to know how to do this, though, for basic sound design purposes. Um, you can also, like, make your own snares and hi-hats in here, too. It's all about the envelope and how you shape it. There's a good hi-hat down there. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys learned something about making your own drum kit. Thought it'd be good to make this video because I've been working on my own drum kit. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet though. Maybe it'll be free, maybe it won't be. Who knows? I guess I gotta see how good it is first. Make sure you check out Bloom Audio if you haven't. They're a great mixing and mastering service. I know this because I am them. Get 20% off with the code down in the description, code Weaver. Make sure you check out my Discord if you haven't. We do lots of cool stuff there, like feedback streams, ciphers, yada yada, blah blah blah. Tune in next time when I get some clothes. Weaver's daughter's going through that phase where she takes off all the clothes on her babies. So right now, this baby doesn't have clothes. Pretty much all the babies don't have clothes right now. All right, bye. Shout out to my patrons. You're now listening to air. The link to check out his music is down in the description.